boys and girls, moms and dads, grandparents, cousins, and aunts and uncles, weird people, and anyone else I haven't mentioned already. Welcome to the Louisiana State University 2021 Virtual Open House Parade of Dog Breeds. I am your host, George Strain, and I want to thank you for taking advantage of our annual event of educating and informing people and just showing off. There are about 340 breeds recognized international by the Federation Cynologique Internationale, the world governing body of dog breeds, sometimes known as the World Canine Organization. Although there are 340 breeds at least, the standards of recognizing breeds vary country to country. For example, in the United States, the American Kennel Club currently only recognizes about half of them, 197. The dog is far more variable in size, shape, and behavior than any other living mammal. But most experts now believe that all dogs, no matter how different, originated exclusively from a single species, the gray wolf. Dogs were first domesticated from wolves about 14,000 to 17,000 years ago. But most of the dog breeds we know were developed within the last few centuries. In addition to the so-called pure breeds, it is increasingly common to encounter what are sometimes called designer breeds, created by crossing dogs from the pure breeds, such as the cockapoo, the labradoodle, golden doodle, puggle, and Yorkie Poo. Today you will only have a chance to see a small sampling of the pure breeds, yet you will see how much variance there is among the breeds in body size, coloration, head features, coat type and length, and much more. So let's begin. Here we have Zeus and Honey Bun, who are standard poodles. A fun fact, they love swimming and dog park days are the best. Lucille enjoys teaching her human games and tricks. I don't know how fast her human learns. Pascal, his fun fact is the only toy he needs is his collar. Heidi's a professional banana eater. I don't know how you qualify for that. Next is Magnolia May. Her favorite pastimes include pretending she is a 10 pound lap dog and using mud to disguise herself as a chocolate lab whenever possible. Andre is a German short hair pointer. These dogs are born with the instinct to point at game and are most commonly used for upland game hunting. Amos likes to talk and sounds like Chewbacca when he gets excited. His best friend is his cat, Gus. Next, English Springer Spaniel, we have Shoestring and Ladybird. They love being close to people and love swimming. Bonnie and her siblings were the result of artificial insemination. They were born on October 28, 2020, but their sire died in 2015. Olive loves to hunt for bugs, roll on every new surface she encounters. It's that she closes her eyes and therefore you then cannot see her. Kingsley is a West Highland White Terrier or Westie. Kingsley is very handsome and he knows it. He loves to show off for all the neighborhood dogs on long walks down the street and enjoys modeling for pictures for every occasion. Next is Macy, a Boston Terrier. Macy is a rescue doggo with so much love to give. She loves fetch and could play all day long. Dobby is another Boston Terrier. Dobby is a rescue Boston. He is very athletic, but he also loves to snuggle with his people and his puppy brother, Cash. Soph Soph is a little dog filled with a lot of sass. She loves having her tummy scratched. All you have to do is say belly rub and she rolls over on her back. Albus is a standard Manchester Terrier. Albus is the best companion ever. He was also the fastest Manchester Terrier in the United States 
for both 2019 and 2020 with a top speed over 28 miles per hour and is taking on agility and barn hunt next. Laika was born in Tajikistan and moved all the way to Louisiana when she was seven, halfway around the world. When she was younger, she loved to follow her owner on her horse for miles over mountain trails and to help her goats, sheep, and cattle. Her passion is to play soccer and fetch. Next is the Belgian Malinois, Rayon de Soleil, also known as Raya. Rayon followed in her parents' hot steps and is now an AKC champion in confirmation at only eight months of age. Raya also is in training in herding and tracking. Next is the Border Collie, Aurora. Aurora is very intelligent and a high energy dog. She is very sweet and learns new tricks almost immediately. Her favorite hobbies include sheep herding, hiking, playing fetch, and giving kisses. Fitz is a two-year-old, white-factored blue merle, rough-coated collie. Some classic collie features include their long, boobable snout and fluffy coat. Fitz's pastimes include napping Billy up, long walks on the levee, and meeting new dog friends. Next we have Abby, an Australian cattle dog. Australian cattle dogs are bred to herd cattle, but in a pinch will herd her cat around the house instead. I've also seen them herd children. Benny is an AKC registered pug who loves apples, the pelicans, and the tigers. Fun fact, Benny's eye popped out when he was a puppy, and his father is an agility dog. Thor is goofy, gentle with cats, and doesn't know his size. Typical for Great Danes. Next is Wick, an English Mastiff. Wick is three years old and a very laid back, loving boy. He loves to be with his people at all times. He drools a lot, just like the breed is known for, but knows to go to mom to wipe his face. Next is Kyrie, a Siberian Husky. She's almost two years old, loves playing outdoors and jumping around like a rabbit, talks or howls to the owner's husband, and enjoys play biting her two dog siblings' ears to get them in the mood to play. Sully is a registered therapy dog through Pet Partners. He can't wait to return to visit the children at Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital. His favorite treat is frozen blueberries, and his favorite toy is a stuffed dragon. He has four of them and won't play with anything else. Next is Zulu, a miniature dachshund. Zulu is a well-traveled four-year-old. He has traveled to 30 states and over eight national monuments or parks. He has traveled by car, plane, boat, train, bike, and backpack. His parents are determined to make it to all 50. Maggie is a little over a year old she loves to play with toys and to chase a laser pointer around like a cat. She also enjoys watching birds fly around in the backyard. Next is Robichaux, another basset hound. Robichaux loves to sleep on his back and hunt for treats with his incredible nose. His nine inch long ears help keep him on the trail. Next we have Zoe, a Catahoula Leopard Dog. The Catahoula breed is the only breed original to Louisiana. Zoe is a bundle of energy, is very talk active, sensitive, loyal, and her owner's best friend. 